Geo, look, mate, uh, that little stunt you pulled in Singapore hitting the wall all by yourself, it's going to cost you, mate. It's going to cost you. Why are you taking penalties this weekend, mate? Yeah, yeah. ERS and Gearbox. I know, I know. I hope you can do some overtaking without hitting anything. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to Forza Ferrari. Today it's the Japanese Grand Prix. Giovinazzi's taking penalties and uh, well, we'll see exactly what we can do. Mick, Mick's as good as a podium, isn't he? So let's hope that continues. Uh, now, you may remember Giovinazzi, of course, sticking it in the war when he was running completely alone in second place in Singapore. Well, this was his good ERS and his good gearbox. They are obviously both destroyed. So we've had to uh, we've had to you know, get new ones. We'll have to put them on the car to race in Japan. And uh, he does have a better engine still. So we might run this one. I'm, I'm conscious of having the, the I think there's three sprint weekends coming up here almost in a row. So I'm conscious of the of the wear that's going to put on this last engine. So I think maybe we'll run this one today and then we'll um, well, we're going to have to run that in free practice, aren't we? He might need a new engine before the end of the season as well, you know. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll deal with that if and when it comes about. Uh, but generally speaking, it's going not going too badly. We have uh, taken a little bit out of um, Aston Martin and, uh, and Mercedes' last race, but two races in a row now. Mick's been on the podium. Giovinazzi hasn't scored points. One of them in, uh, in Monza was not his fault. Uh, in Singapore, it very much was his fault. So, yeah, we'll see what we do. Now, uh, that's his car. We've got uh, we're a little bit thin on the ground in, on some uh, some pieces here, but we're, we're doing our best <laughs> to get by and manufacture suspensions there. The troubling one, um, yeah, with, yeah, that's just the troubling one. Can I manufacture more yet? Suspension? No, I mean it's still there's there's some coming, but it, they're not going to be here if we have a crash in the race. But anyway, that's all beside the point. Uh, let's have a quick look here at what we're doing. Suzuka, we are again like last race expecting. Looks like heavy rain for qualifying. Um, Suzuka track map we can see there for the sectors. So red is sector one, blue sector two, yellow sector three. Sections by speed. It's for the most part high speed corners, which tends to suit our car. There's a couple of uh, lower speed traction zones there. But I'm cautiously optimistic it might work out okay. Top speed maybe isn't our strongest point though. Um, virtual safety car will save us six seconds off of a pit stop. Expected strategies. It's a two stop race. Um, it's whether you do soft, medium, soft, 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 medium, or. Dare yeah, we say medium, soft, soft. <laughs> um, so we can see here the soft tyre is half a second or so a lap faster than the medium and about eight tenths a lap faster than the hard. So the hard isn't a great race tyre really, is it? Uh, the medium isn't too bad, but yeah, it looks like it is a soft tyre race. As usual, as you would expect, Red Bull have dominated here in the past. And uh, let's have a look at our performance targets here. Reach Q3, you'd very much like to hope so. Uh, someone in the top four. Let's hope we can do that. If we could do like we did uh, in Singapore, lock out the second row, it wouldn't be too bad with it. Finish someone in the top four for the race, and then we need a finishing streak of a car in the top six, and a qualifying of a, today of a car in the top six will earn us the money. So that is that. Everything caught up on, and uh, let us go and uh, head off to Singapore. Not Singapore, is it? Tezuka. So again, heavy rain for qualifying. It's always fun. I hate the qualifying. It's so stressful. All right, I'll do free practice and I'll see you momentarily. All right, so free practice is done. Let's have a look at how we did. It wasn't too bad. Now, bearing in mind, Giovinazzi is taking penalties. It hasn't shown it yet because we haven't put those parts on the car, but he will be taking penalties along with Hamilton by the looks of things. So FP1, it was ninth and 10th for us. Uh, Vashore was in the car in Alpine for somebody for, uh, for, for, uh, for Ocon. So uh, that's... The first time I think I've seen a, a non-race uh, driver in uh, in a free practice session this season. Uh, FP2, Giovinazzi was 8th, and then Mick was down there in 17th. FP3, it did rain. Giovinazzi was 7th. Mick already had nailed his setup. We sent him out. It started to rain. I brought him back in. So, uh, yeah, no harm, no foul there. Didn't do a lap. Uh, now, qualifying. We know that Giovinazzi has to take engine penalty, so we'll stick that. He's gonna have to. We're gonna have to buy an engine for him. I'm pretty sure before the end of the season, he gets a brand new ERS. Mick, uh, who are you, Geo? Look after this one, please, mate. And uh, likewise, the gearbox. He might need another gearbox for the end of the year as well. You know, um, we'll put it on because we just want to take all the penalties in one hit here, ruin just one race rather than uh, multiples. So I'll go and do Q uh, Q1. We shouldn't have any problem getting through it, and then we'll see where. Uh, yeah, where we shake out from there. So, rain is expected. Um, we don't know how many positions yet. I think, is it 10 and 5? So, I mean, unless he gets into right up the top of the 
of uh, of Q3. He's going to be starting last, uh, which is fine. You know, we have to do it. It's his own fault. And, um, yeah, let's hope that we get good laps in here. Giovinazzi will go to the top, even if it is Currently just momentarily. P1. And uh, let's see. Okay, cool. So we're we fifth, this fourth, sixth. Uh, Mick might be in a bit of trouble here. Verstappen was slow in free practice, but it looks like he's back on the pace here, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, here comes the rain, and it looks as though anybody major in the bottom five right now. No, not no, really. Gasly, but not really. So, we've had a red flag. The track was dry. Nobody was going particularly quicker, though, and uh, it's Hamilton. So, Hamilton is... Uh, now, it doesn't necessarily mean he's out, does it? So that helps uh, Hamilton being out. That's a, you know so, someone that Jim Nazi doesn't have to beat now. Uh, so let's go to Q2, and uh, we know that Hamilton's going to be going out, and then uh, four others as well. All right, and once again, rain is predicted, so everybody's out. Uh, let's maybe just slow it down a little bit. Uh, yellow flag as Stroll locks up. Shame for him. Let's hope he goes out here as well. And uh, let's see where we get. So Jim Nazi, as you would imagine, oh, early goes fastest. Uh, he's gone quicker than Perez. Mick is fourth. Is that going to be enough for him? He looks like it might be. And uh, is Stroll going to get himself... Because he locked up, didn't he? So Stroll might be out here as well. Which would be very, very useful for us in the uh, Constructors' battle. As the rain starts. And the rain did not stop. So it is second and sixth. Uh, it's looking a little bit of a shame that Giovinazzi is taking penalties here because we had no choice. He had to take them here. It was forced upon us. And uh, well, maybe you can look at it the other way. He's going to be back there with a couple of our rivals as well. So let's do Q3 and see exactly where we're going to be starting this one. All right. Now, once again, expecting rain. So everybody's on the track. We're on board with Giovinazzi. It's quite dark, isn't it? Let's see what we can do here. And uh, you, we would expect this. We're the first two cars on track. Do you expect us to go purple? Uh, through sector one, which is just here somewhere, and uh, he does. Now, is Mick gonna be able to beat him? Uh, he is not. So, Giovinazzi looks like he's the one. And tell you what, Verstappen hasn't beat him either. Now, I did say Verstappen was slow in free practice, um, so I don't know if he's having one of these races where he's taking penalties or he's, a, he's got an engine or something at the end of its life. But if that's the case, as another purple sector for uh, Giovinazzi. Now, of course, if he can stick it on pole, Verstappen has gone purple in the middle sector, though. So perhaps uh, we are uh, forecasting his demise a little bit too soon. Mick's about to cross the line. Mick goes behind Giovinazzi, which is good, obviously, because that's, uh, he's going to go ahead of him. Verstappen has crossed the line in third. Russell, have Mercedes bought an upgrade here, I wonder? Um, but Giovinazzi second. Where's Perez and Piastri going to slot in here? Perez is going to cross the line momentarily, and Perez is only fourth so second and third which would be uh, a front row start for mick penalties apply now there is rain on the track the more rain is predicted so i suspect this is going to be how this uh, finishes because there's not much time left uh for the track to dry out and we're not going to go out and risk a crash or, or wasting tires it's, it's about to go to damp so russell's on pole mick will start on the front row and jeevan nazi it's almost perfect for him as well in terms of dealing with a penalty so there we go. Uh, maximize the result here, and we'll see where uh, well that puts us in the in the constructors. But a big, big opportunity. I just worry Mercedes maybe have bought an upgrade here. So it's a 10-place grid drop, so only 12th for Giovinazzi. That could have been a lot. How is it only 10? I did put a gearbox, and I did put everything on, didn't I? Park for me. Uh, yeah, so there's only 10 spots. 5 and 5, I'm assuming. That's, that's worked out like a charm for us. All right. Um, let's have a look here. Do we want to do soft medium soft um i think that's the way to go isn't it to be honest and uh yeah you might be able to push the medium tire a little bit more in the middle stint as well um and we'll do the same thing with mick i wonder if there's an argument to switch things up a little bit and uh and be on a medium tire earlier that you can maybe push a smidge harder uh but you'd want to even that up a little bit there i would have thought uh, oh, you know what the problem is there? I know what the problem is. Um, how many soft tires do we have? That's the problem. Hang on. Mick only has one set of new soft tires. where He has two sets of mediums. Now, Giovinazzi's okay, doesn't he? He has... No, he is the same. Uh, so I wonder if what we actually want to do... Although, I mean, they're not, they're not completely worn. 
I wonder if we want to do uh, sort of a, a medium soft medium with Mick. Uh, I mean, it's not that worn, is it? It's not that bad. So we'll do the same thing, I think. And uh, yeah, let's hope we get uh, we get a good result. Or do we want to do soft, soft, medium at the end? Maybe we want to do that. All right, let's do that. See how we go here. Come on, boys. All right, welcome back. Now, of course, one thing we could do, we could put a me two medium tires on. We don't have to do what the strategy says at the start there. But look at that. Ferrari on the front row. No Red Bull in sight. Uh, let's jump on board with Mick. We'll keep half an eye on Giovinazzi as well. He's down there in 12th and uh, see what he can do. But it looks like... Now, we're on a soft tire to Russell's medium here. Oh, the hard tire of Perez around the outside. What are you doing letting that happen, Mick? That's not ideal. And um, maybe just caught caught dozing a little bit at the start. Giovinazzi hasn't made up any places either. So these hard tire runners, you would think that's a one stop, wouldn't you? Uh, surely, surely that's a one stop. So uh, yeah, Giovinazzi's made a place. Let's go back and see how he's doing here. He's got past Norris. He's got the hard tired Piastri in front of him. And that's a move that he really does need to get made. And uh, then we go, we'll go from there, I suppose, with him. We've got to be a little bit careful in our tyre usage. And, uh, yeah, I'm just wondering if the meat, what a me if you start on a medium, I wonder what that means in terms of strategy as well. But there's a few one-stoppers, but not, I mean, with the exception of Perez, no one that's really um, in our race necessarily. I'd really like, I'd really like to get some moves done here. Now, it's not an easy place to overtake, and there is just the one DRS zone as well, which is on the main straight here. So let's see if we can, do we have enough urs to get out of here? And with, we don't have DRS yet, of course. We will do on the next lap. Yeah, so uh, we'll stay with this. Let's see if he can, if he can keep with Perez. And he's on a hard tire, so he should be able to. As Giovinazzi gets a move done on Oscar Piastri. I'm assuming into turn one. Looks like that's exactly where that is. And that's a nice overtake as well. So well done on goes Giovinazzi. But let's stay with uh, let's stay with Ward here with Mick. And Russell is, is pulling away a little bit, which is not ideal. Hamilton is still stone last, so hopefully. Yeah, I'm not sure what to make of Russell's pace, to be honest, because he's been he's been very, very quick through free practice as well, I think, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, I'm just a little bit fearful Mercedes have bought an upgrade and they're going to sort of start taking some points away from us. But we're not we haven't quite got the battery to to get a move done there. So we'll try and uh, and top her up. And eventually you'd think we'll get the better of this. But we don't want Russell getting too far away just in case he's doing a medium soft soft strategy but anyway let's uh let's keep our fingers crossed for Giovinazzi as well here was mick all right and mick involved. has eventually the got past uh got them. past perez with a little bit of drs assistance into turn one easy as you like let's see if he can chase down That's russell now. Place now all right now mick has caught the back of uh, george russell verstappen is behind us as well now, I think Perez has had a bit of an incident. I think with uh, Albon, potentially, he's got a penalty. And, uh, yeah, so that's that's not bad for us at all. Um, because that's a Red Bull that could be out of the way of even both cars. It's only a five-second penalty, granted. But uh, Giovinazzi is, is, is making up pretty good time. He's doing 31s to eat the fastest car on track, in fact. So, yeah, that's uh, that's all looking fairly promising. We just need to get ourselves past um, past Mr. Russell here, and then we'll be in a in a much better spot. Hopefully, he'll be able to hold up Verstappen as well. Though Verstappen, I believe, is on a soft tire, isn't he? Yeah, so that's going to uh, not be too easy. Let's go deploy, and let's hopefully get this done down into turn one as uh, we go down the outside, easy as you like. And hopefully Verstappen doesn't follow us through. Doesn't look like he has. And uh, yeah, well, there we go. Mick is leading the Japanese Grand Prix. Giovinazzi currently eight. He's just got past... Uh, oh no, he hasn't just got past somebody. 
All right, so quick bit of an update. Uh, both Ocon and Jiv and uh, Perez, sorry, have locked up, uh, lap after each other at the final chicane there, and it's uh, just cleared the path, basically, for Giovinazzi. Uh, so he is now up to six behind Alonso, who is uh, just putting in a good lap this lap. So we've just dropped out of DRS a little bit, so we'll stop conserving fuel and uh, see if we can catch him back up. Albon is uh, not too far up the road in fourth, and then looks like as Russell just got past uh, Mick, he has. So we'll harvest him up again. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's 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 going absolutely fine. Uh, it's a bit of a shame we couldn't uh, drop George Russell, but, you know, our tyres are going off a little bit here. It's not the end of the world. And then uh, Giovinazzi is yeah, just making really good uh, really good uh, progress through the field as well. So, yeah, we're just going to be a little bit... No, Russell's on a, on a lap here, is he? So we don't want to gift Verstappen away past us. Um, given that we're coming up towards our pit window here anyway, let's maybe push these tyres on a little bit more. I wonder if Russell is doing something similar here. We don't want Max getting past us. Can we deploy and try and keep him there? Uh, we're entering our pit window. As Max has got us, doesn't it? He? he does. So that's, uh, that's a bit disappointing. Maybe a little bit too cautious on the old, uh, trying to make sure that everything is charged and raring to go and it's cost us there but uh, yeah George Russell has suddenly just taken off all right now both cars are stopping this lap now what uh, Giovinazzi just got himself up to third that is uh why is he up to third there's somebody coming in the pits there Verstappen what's happened to Verstappen he must have pit and I've missed that I think so Verstappen is pit that makes sense, because that's why Mick is now up to second. And, uh, yeah, third for Giovinazzi. And, uh, yeah, you can see we're pushing on quite heavily with both cars to try and get uh, the best in-lap that we can. And, uh, again, fingers crossed, everybody. Pray to your respective gods that these stops go well. There's a big enough gap between them, 12 seconds, to be able to, to do both on the same lap. That shouldn't be an issue. Uh, Mick is going on to another set of softs. Giovinazzi is going on to a medium. 3.1, I guess, is acceptable. Let's see what we get out for Giovinazzi. Onto the medium, 2.9. Again, acceptable. And uh, Mick has come out in fifth, which is huge. And Giovinazzi into eighth. Is that official? I think that's officially eighth. Uh, now, Mick's tyres are used. They, the set that were used in qualifying. Um... Giovinazzi and obviously is on a, a new set of mediums right now so we'll see how this race continues to develop uh, we've got some hard tie runners in front of us now I don't think that's going to work I think they're going to be too slow but I could be wrong obviously usually am and uh, yeah let's see what uh, what we can do now this is this is the part of the race where we've really got to because basically if we look at the race now Everybody, if you're on a one-stop, everybody's going to stop one more time. So this is where we need to start and, uh, and make sure we're moving forward and uh, and taking advantage so that when they come in to stop, uh, as he overtook Giovinazzi. Did Giovinazzi make a mistake, I wonder? Anyway, that's that's not ideal. I wonder if he's just on a bit of cold tyres. What sort of tyre is Ocon on? On a soft, so that makes a little bit of sense, I suppose. But uh, anyway, we'll see how we go from here. So we can see the race house developing here. Russell there is in the lead. Uh, Mick, we're just uh, trying to uh, conserve a bit of fuel with him right now uh, while he has decent pace and he's catching Alonso. We might actually need to go and jump on board here with him because he is about to put a move on uh, on old Alonso. I wonder if he's coming to the pits on those hard tyres of his. Um, if he's not, we're going to deploy and try and get past him. Russell and also Alonso has pit as well. So they're bailing. We've been three, four seconds a lap faster than Russell. I, I didn't really see what it was for, uh, yeah, for uh, the most recent laps. But yeah, Giovinazzi's doing some decent lap times, which is good to see. So he's ahead of Russell now, but Russell obviously has made his last stop. Um, so we need to try and, I'm assuming Russell's onto a medium onto a hard no he started on a medium didn't he so yeah the, the pace is in the car again which is excellent uh verstappen is just as you would expect on a different planet uh we've probably conserved enough fuel there for now with mick and uh yeah it's just about trying to make sure that we come in second with mick is uh it's got to be the, the goal here i think and as for giovinazzi russell might be a bit of an ask 
but I certainly think fourth is doable. So let's hope we can get uh, second and fourth. That'll be some big points as well. All right, now Mick is the one that is suddenly lacking pace. Giovinazzi is not that far behind him. Uh, so we're bringing him in this lap. It's, it's more or less his ideal lap anyway. And uh, yeah, Giovinazzi is pushing on. Maybe a, you'd even argue a smidge too hard, but he should be okay as long as we keep the temperatures, the tire temperatures in the window there. Um, so yeah, let's see what sort of stop we get here with Mick. And then he'll be on a medium tire to the end. Uh, wasn't a great stint this one. I've got to be honest, I, I'm wondering if we should have gone medium, uh, yeah, like a medium, medium, with a bit of a sprint on the soft tyre instead of what we've done, but anyway, let's hope we get a good stop, hit your marks here Mick, and uh, we'll put you on a medium and you can go to the end, it's, that's not great, it's not the worst, we'll take it, and let's see where he comes out now, so he is, he's going to get ahead of Hamilton, it looks like he is, so he's in sixth, um, now Alonso we know is one stopping, um, uh, we don't need to be pushing on quite that much though mate. Uh, yeah, Alonso is one stopping as is Alvin and Russell. Yeah, I mean, and we know Giovinazzi's got to come in again. He's looking good for second. So that's, uh, that's good. And then Giovinazzi, it's just a matter of, uh, getting him now to his soft tire window. And seeing what he can do. But, uh, yeah, what's, uh, I want to see the gap that he has back to Alonso is already 12 seconds so is he doing faster he's doing faster lap times uh, we might just ease off that a little bit just make sure that we're going to get far enough into the race as uh, fastest lap is now set by Alonso did he just come in the pits why is he suddenly going so quick that's a bit of a weird one All right, now Giovinazzi is coming in this lap. Russell, he's been sort of going back and forth with Russell. So we're going to, obviously, we've gone as far as we can to try and protect the soft tires, which we know are the, are the used ones from qualifying. Uh, Mick has had a little bit of a battle with Albon, which it looks like he has now pulled away, got him out of uh, DRS. Um, now, he was on old tires, old hard tires. So we just needed to get that, uh, get that clear so that he's not holding us up. Uh, now, what we're going to look to try and do here with Giovinazzi is uh, obviously come into the pits, get a, hopefully a nice uh, a nice pit stop, and then uh, send him on the on the softs. We'll try and do a couple of deploy laps, hopefully get fastest lap as well. But this all, of course, is on the pit crew right now. Nice quick stop, 2.8. Thank you very much. And it should bring him out just behind Albon, I suspect. Uh, it's a big gap back to Ocon. Yeah, so we're fourth and we're sixth. And, um, yeah, Alonso and Russell are going to be quite slow towards the end, I suspect, here. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go. Let's do this. Let's see how far up we can get. Wow, we caught Alonso quickly. We've gone a couple of seconds a lap faster here. Yeah, we have two. Look at that. A couple of seconds a lap faster. And, uh, we will deploy down the front straight. That will hopefully get rid of Alonso then. And we, I, Verstappen's not for us. That's not something we're going to do. But uh, George Russell, two seconds a lap faster, uh, slower than his story, is very much something that we can try and do. Now, Alonso looks like he's going to try and defend this, which you would expect him to, to be honest. But Mick should have the pace in the car to be able to, to get it done. Come on, Mick. Yellow flag. It is Norris running one. Norris had a nightmare race. He's a lap down just about everybody, I think. Come on. All right, let's let's harvest up and getting down the front straight again. I suspect too he might be using some battery. Uh, old Alonso here. So let's go back onto deploy. Let's use a bit of extra fuel down into turn one here. Oh, uh, we've used up all our ERS, which is an ideal. But if we've got DRS, we might be able to get it done anyway. Down the outside, a little bit risky, Mick. Don't do anything silly. Giovinazzi does set fastest lap of the race. Uh, he has used up all his battery as well, but he's got himself past 27.9. That is rapid. Um, he's going to catch <laughs> Schumacher the way he's going. What's the gap? It's only three seconds back, and he's how far back did he start? Insane stuff from Giovinazzi. All right, we've charged up the batteries a little bit now. Let's not drop too far back here. And uh, we'll just take a little bit easier on the tyres. Oh, you smother effer, Verstappen. How's he done that? All right. DRS into turn one. Come on, Mick. Come on, Mick. If we're going to catch 
if we're going to catch Russell, we need to get this done. This is getting a little bit annoying now, I've got to say. Uh, we might just hold off a smidge there on Giovinazzi's tyres. He's just done a 28.5. How far back is he? He's right there. Look at that. He's right there. Mick having a look, but uh, to no avail. So let's harvest up Giovinazzi while he's stuck here as well. But given that he's on the soft tyre, we might need to let him go, you know. If Mick can't get that overtake done, deploy, send it in, send it in. Let's get this done here, Mick. Come on. Come on, Mick. Come on, Mick. Is Giovinazzi right there? Not quite. He's almost there, though. This is just getting annoying now, isn't it? I mean, we are, we're we running out of laps, and it's, it's George Russell that we want, and... Well, we're in danger of not getting it done. Come on, Mick. Giovinazzi is harvesting up, and he's almost caught them. Um, we're going to have to let Giovinazzi go, aren't we? This is your last chance, I think, here, Mick. Otherwise, uh, Giovinazzi's going to be there. I think we'll stay on this view. As soon as Giovinazzi's there, then we've got to let him go, because it's, it's taking too long for Mick to get this done. And he's there, isn't he? And he's been harvesting the whole time as well. So, uh, you're going to have to let him go, please, Mick. Mick. Thank you. you got no one to blame but yourself for that one. Alright, and let's see if Giovinazzi can get the move done on uh, Alonso. You suspect he might just drive straight past him. And, I mean, he's almost just done that exactly, hasn't he? What is the gap? It's still a 12 second gap to Russell. We're not going to get this done. We're not going to get second. We're only going to get one car on the podium here. Now, of course, in the battle with Aston Martin, this is also important on that front as well, isn't it? Yellow flag. And it is Albon running wide, which is significant, but not really for us. So there goes Giovinazzi. And Mick now has got to try and uh, catch it back up again. And uh, he's got to get past Alonso now. But can Giovinazzi run down George Russell is going to be the big question between now and the end. I suspect the answer might be no. But you never know. It's going to have to be multiple seconds a lap faster. And, um, yeah, I mean, the other question is, is Mick going to be able to go and get Alonso now? He is faster than him, but we'll, we'll have to see. All right, now Mick has caught him back up, so that's positive. Uh, we're just charging up the batteries now. We're saving as much tire life as we can for one final onslaught to get uh, get him past him, get him past him, get Mick past Fernando Alonso. Uh, Russell is uh, two seconds a lap slower than Giovinazzi. The issue is that with three laps to go, the gap is six, seven seconds. Now, two seconds a lap, and he's only not quite been uh, that much faster that lap. It, it's not going to quite have time to happen. Um, but yeah, anyway, we should have enough battery to get a move done. What we just need to be a little bit careful of here is Alonso driving off into the distance. He's a wily old fox, as we know. And we're outside DRS range right now as well. So, uh, yeah. Now, of course, the DRS zone, it, it is essentially, it'll be the, the second last lap. So with... Uh, as we come across to start the final lap, that is uh, the last chance to, to use DRS. So, Mick dropping back like this is potentially quite problematic. And, uh, next lap he needs to be in the DRS range, so we might need to deploy him here. And uh, get into DRS range, get as close as we can. Giovinazzi, I mean, let's just go full send on the tyres. We've only got two laps to go. He's five seconds back. It's just not quite going to happen for either of them, I don't think. 
We had definitely had the pace here to be a lot higher up. All right. Let's, we don't need to get it done too early here, Mick. We'll let him back past us with DRS. So Verstappen starts the final lap. We will now deploy. This is it. This is his last chance. Can he get it done? We only just had enough uh, battery to get us there. And he's not done it. He's not done it. Come on, Mick. Come on, Mick. You still can't see Russell, so that's not going to happen. So we'll just save those tyres. Is Mick going to be able to get past Fernando Alonso? On the last lap, he's done it out of the hairpin! The last of his battery as well. Now, has he got enough to... Uh, has he got enough to get him there and get him there comfortably? We're going to about to have, uh, crossing the line to finish third is Antonio Giovinazzi. We can see George Russell there. Oh, okay, and now fine. Mick, he's going to come across and finish fourth. A third and fourth for Ferrari. That's a decent result, isn't it? So there we go. Giovinazzi up nine. What a drive for him. Mick, I think Alonso just cost him, cost him second, I think. Honestly, I just think that uh, he couldn't get past him. He definitely had the pace. And just couldn't get it done. But uh, Verstappen, look at that nicking. Only by a tenth. Giovinazzi's fastest lap as well. Uh, the Drivers' Championship. So we are still 7th and 8th. But only a point now. Giovinazzi. Uh, sorry, Mick is behind Lance Stroll. Uh, Giovinazzi is sort of in a little bit of an island there in 8th. The Constructors. So we've taken points out of both Mercedes and Aston Martin there. And uh, yeah, I'd Mercedes is too far away. Aston Martin definitely got my... Uh, Got my sights on them, though. I want to run them down this season. So Mick has now become an 82-rated driver. Uh, so that's obviously useful for him. And the board are uh, happy with that result as well. So there's only two disappointed on there. You'd like to think, surely, if as the race performances are good, even if the overall objective is not being met, surely they'll be happy and keep us around for the season after next. Uh, the next race is Qatar, which I believe is a sprint weekend. So that's going to be interesting. And um, as, as for who we keep around for next season, I meant to mention this last episode. It seems that Mick is the, you know, we've got to keep Mick is the, is not Fornaroli is the uh, general consensus there. So that's what we'll do. Until then, guys, I've been on TV. Thank you so much for watching. And it, we sprint in Qatar next. Take care.